Hi, this is Arif, and today is the second day of Eid, and I wish all the people around the world a very happy and safe Eid during this COVID-19 situation. So stay home, stay happy, stay safe. Today, I'm here to teach you active voice and passive voice, which many students uh, ask me to teach. And this one is also a very uh, difficult topic for many people. They don't know how to change active voice into passive voice, when to change active voice into passive voice, why do we need active and why do we need passive voice, which one is better, and so on. So today, I'm here to explain and make it easy for you. Keep watching and let's start. Here is the difference between active voice and passive voice and the reasons behind them. We use active voice when the subject is more important than the object. When we don't have an object in a sentence. Now, when don't we have an object in a sentence? When we have an intransitive verb. Point number two and point number three are interrelated. So, when, we, when you have an intransitive verb, you have to use active voice. Active voice is more common. Many people use active voice a lot because they don't know how to change it into passive voice. Even though they have to use, they need to use a passive voice, but they don't know how to use it. That's why they use active voice. Now, the reasons behind passive voice. Some of them are opposite to the previous ones. Here, the object is more important than the subject. If the subject is important, you have to use active voice. If the object is important, you have to use passive voice. It depends on the situation. Or we can also say here, the action is more important than the subject. We are not interested in the subject, whoever does or whoever did the action. We are interested in the action. Or when you don't know the subject, when the subject is missing. For example, you come home, you go to school, or you go to class, and there is a chair broken, or a glass broken, or your bag stolen, or your uh, a pen or ballpoint or a, a notebook missing. So, you don't, you don't know who did that. So in this case, you have to use passive voice because you, because you don't have any option. Sometimes we bring a change in the taste. You know, when you are using active voice again and again, again and again, again and again in a paragraph or in an essay, you need to bring a change, okay? You will have subject and object, both of them in a sentence, both of them will be equally important, but sometimes you have to bring a change. When the subject is indefinite, like someone, anyone, no one, everyone, means w when the subject is not clear, you have to use passive voice. For example, someone stole my bike. Now, my bike is an object, someone is, an, is a subject, but someone is indefinite and the bike is definite, means the object is clear. So it's better to say, my bike was stolen. Or when the subject is known to everyone, like the government, or like the uh, like mother or father so most of the time uh, these subjects are clear or the teacher for example uh, English is being taught now here do not say or you don't need to say the teacher is teaching English so here the subject is known to everyone so guys these are the reasons behind uh, using active voice and passive voice Let's proceed. Before starting uh, changing active voice into passive voice, let me tell you something that I will have to use V1, V2, V3, ING form and the SES, IES form of a verb. V1 means the base form, the past form, V2, the past participle form, the third form, V3, the present participle form means ing form and the simple form means a verb uh, when it has s, es or ies. 
for example eat means verb one at verb two eaten we three eating ing form eats the simple form now remember one thing that in active voice you might have verb one verb two verb three the ing form the s e s or i e s form you may have one of them but in passive voice all of them are converted into the third form here is the simple structure of active voice and a simple structure of passive voice remember that in active voice the subject is before the verb and the object is after the verb now what kind of verb do we need we need it to be transitive okay it must be a transitive verb because an intransitive verb does not have an object and when you don't have an object you cannot have a passive voice because in passive voice the object is used before the verb and the subject is used after the verb by adding one extra preposition by so the verb needs to be a transitive verb and a transitive verb has an object uh, my video about transitive verb and its types is available and you can watch it the link is given below now why students are confused you know why people are confused when they uh, need to change active voice into passive voice the main thing is the verb they don't know what to do with the verb how to change it whether uh, you know they should use a singular verb or plural verb means so today is going to be clear okay remember the thing the subject in active voice is before the verb but it is after the verb in passive voice so keep it in your mind object in active voice is after the verb but it is before the verb in passive voice so i'm not going to explain it again i'm not going to explain it again our main focus is on the verb how to change a verb from active voice into passive voice because uh, replacing these two things with each other is quite easy i'm going to tell you very easy steps to change the verb of active voice into passive voice keep watching now let's change active voice into passive voice i told you that in active voice you might see verb one the simple form the past form the participle form the present participle form or modal auxiliary verb plus base form of the verb but in passive voice you will always see the third form of the main verb now here verb one rep represents the simple present tense verb plus s e s i e s also represents the present tense now it means that these two forms of the verb represent simple present tense now how to change simple present tense from active voice into passive voice remember this thing you have to add is am are okay in the passive voice and convert these two forms into third form and you will get your passive voice so easy i'll make examples later second form of the verb represents the simple past tense in simple past tense we have the second form now how to change it here we have is am are in the present tense now we will have was or were because in active voice we have a past tense plus this form will be changed to or converted to third form because it's passive voice and in passive voice we will always have third form now the third form point number 4 we have third form in present perfect tense 
past perfect tense and in future perfect tense. It means that this third form represents three tenses, the perfect tenses. Now what to do? In present tense we have is, am, are, this form of be, okay? In past tense we have was or were, and now we are going to add when plus third form. Now this third form will remain the same, okay? Third form, third form. But we will have one extra word and that is when. You will not see Ben in the active voice of perfect tenses, but you will see it in the passive voice. Now, ing. Ing form of the verb represents a continuous tense. And we have six continuous tenses in which two of them are better to be changed. Okay? Uh, grammarian says uh, uh, that uh, four of them are not to be changed. So, in present tense, we will have is, am, are, because present continuous tense should be changed. And if it is past continuous tense, so we will have was or were. Okay, it depends on the situa uh, situation. Plus, we have to remove the ing form because we have to convert this verb into third form. you will get the third form of this ing form here at the end. Now, remember, we are going to add one extra word because we have ing here by adding being. Now, being plus v3 will tell you that it is the passive form of a continuous tense. Ben plus v3 will tell you that it is the passive form of a perfect tense. Was or were plus third form of the verb will tell you that it is the past, uh, passive uh, form of a past tense. And is, am, are plus third form of the verb will tell you that it is the passive form of a present, simple present tense. Now the last point in which we have modal auxiliary verb. M, A, V stands for modal auxiliary verb such as can, will, could, would, shall, should, may, might, must. Now, how to change them? The modal auxiliary verb will remain the same. If it is will there, it should be will here. Can, can, could, could, may, may, must, must. You should not change them. Plus, we have first form of the verb, so we are going to change it into third form of the verb. Because it is passive voice. Now, here we are going to add an extra word. And that is B because after modal auxiliary verbs we cannot use second form third form ing form or the simple form we always used first form of the verb means we won so we have to apply or obey the formula uh, modal auxiliary verb plus first form of the verb and that is B and after B we can use the third form here are the active examples of different tenses. In the first example, she can cook rice is the example of modal auxiliary verb. She cooks rice is the example of simple present tense. She cooked rice is the example of simple past tense. She has or she had or she will have cooked rice is the example of present perfect tense, past perfect tense and future perfect tense. And she is or she was cooking rice is the example of present continuous tense and past continuous tense. Now, let's convert them into passive voice. Now, you need to find three things. Number one, subject, the verb, and the object. change active voice into passive voice we need three things subject verb what kind of verb a transitive verb plus object because a transitive verb always has an object now here we have first form of the verb preceded by a modal auxiliary verb here we have the simple form of the verb 
here we have the second form of the verb here, third form of the verb, and here, ing form of the verb. Now, before uh, examples, I told you how to convert verb one to simple form, the second form, the third form, and the ing form into passive voice because all of them will be converted into third form. But the addition, okay, the additional words should be kept in mind. Now, sub uh, object in the place of subject and subject in the place of object. I'll use the blue marker, rice, auxiliary as it is, okay, can, and after auxiliary we have to add an extra word and that is be, the third form, cooked, and then the preposition by plus the subject, by her. Rice can be cooked by her. Now the subject uh, goes to the place of object, that's why subject pronoun is converted into object pronoun and object pronoun is converted into subject pronoun. The second example, subject and the object will replace each other, rice. Now simple form represents the present tense and in present tense we use is, am, are, but here the new subject, rice, Actually, rice is an object, but it is used in the place of subject, so it becomes the new subject. And rice takes singular verb is, that plus the third form of the verb, cooked, by, plus subject pronoun into object pronoun. Rice is cooked by her. She cooked rice, simple past tense. Rice, now in past tense, instead of ismr, we use was or were. Rice was. Third form, cooked, preposition by, and subject pronoun into object pronoun. She has, she had, or she will have. Now, object in the place of subject, rice, rice has, rice had, a rice will have. Now, we have, we already have the third form, so it will remain the third form by but we will add one extra word, ban, cooked, and then the subject in the form of object by her. Rice has been cooked by her, rice had been, uh, rice will have been cooked by her. Now the last example, she is or she was cooking rice, rice in the place of subject, rice is, rice was, Cooking is ing form, so we have to use being, the third form of the verb, cooked, and then the subject in the form of object. So, these are the passive forms of active. If you have any kind of questions, you can ask me in the comment section below. And do not forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you.